Okay, so the last blueprint that I had for this trick didn't actually work. There was the Godidi Supreme. Sadly, the Godidi Supreme did not work uh, because the bomb jumping just doesn't work out. However, I have a new blueprint to do a similar trick. However, this one will require spin boost on top of uh, not just normal bombs, but cross bombs as well. So it's actually a lot later. We have actually found in the meantime a way to do this with just space jump, but here is here it is without space jump, at least in theory, with just spin boost. So I did a little bit of testing with the strategy that uses uh, space jump. By the way, this strategy, I'm going to call it the Godini Extreme. So this is the Godini Extreme. I did a bit of testing with Space Jump, just to test how exactly that works. In order to do this, you sort of wedge yourself under the uh, corner on the right side here. Uh, and if you wedge yourself just below that corner and then do a jump, you actually get a little bit more height than you otherwise would, uh, even while doing it underwater. I think it's because the uh, if you press against the corner on the right here that's coming out from the overhang, it sort of pushes you down a tiny bit. And this pushing you down sort of translates into then jumping with a little bit of height. There's some, I think there's some calculations that calculate how high you're supposed to jump and that calculation gets thrown off if you get pushed down by the corner a tiny bit. It's a bit weird. Anyway, you can get a tiny bit more height with doing that and it's actually possible, I'm going to show it off in this video right here, uh, it's actually possible to just do a single corner boost into uh, getting to the top. So here, uh, I'm going to go over here, I have space jump right here, you space jump to the right. So here I'm going to wedge, I wedge myself to the right corner and now I'm going to do uh, the space jump. And this space jump here actually gives me enough height to reach this place. Thank you for the artifacting. Uh, and here is actually another space jump. So the thing is, if you have space jump, you cannot wall jump anymore. It, the game doesn't let you wall jump if you have space jump unlocked. I think unless you have like sp uh, speed boost, uh, then you maybe do it. But in this case, you, the game doesn't allow you to wall jump because you have sp space jump, so it does just space jumps here instead. So if I didn't have space jump here, this would have been a wall jump. This would have been a wall jump if I didn't have space jump. Why? Because it's the full height jump. I'm having a full height above water jump right here. So if I didn't have space jump, it would have been a wall jump. Of course, with the wall jump, you would either jump to the left and then jump back, or you would just flash shift immediately. But as you can see, this does get me to the top. Thanks for the artifacting. Very nice of you. But here, once again just to show it off in full speed, so corner boost, and then immediately we have it. So just in a single, in a single um, corner boost, we're able to get it, get it up there. Why is it important that you only need a single boost for this? Because it means you only need one jump. And this is where the Godidi Extreme comes in. For the Godidi Extreme, here's the idea. So someone asked me in a video trying to do this whole just with a cross bomb, and it looks something like this. Sadly, I whoever put this on the sheet didn't put down who the, who actually made this video, so I don't know who that video, who made this video. But as you can see right here, someone has a really good jump, and they were like, oh man, we just don't have enough height. But do you guys see the same thing I'm seeing? Do you guys see the same thing? The Godidi Extreme is right in front of our eyes. He goes over there with the cross jump, and he's spinning right here. So he actually just unmorphs and then just goes smack into the wall. But imagine he doesn't just go smack in the wall. Imagine he does a he goes spinning and does a spin boost. Not just any spin boost. Imagine he does a corner boost off of this corner. That only takes a single jump to do that. If you do, if you do a perfect corner boost on that corner. You would have first off. You would have to have the perfect uh, cross bomb boost to even get there. But if you do this, and then the perfect spin boost, which also is hard to do because do we, I, I had to do a whole bunch of testing. Which so if you if you want to try this out, try this with space jump first. Like have a different save file that has just space jump and like really get the timing down for doing a perfect corner boost. And then once you've got the timing down, come here and try this, um, and just do a try a corner boost right here. If you do it perfectly. You can probably do a wall jump on this jump, which means you don't need space jump to do this. Does that actually save time instead of just getting space jump if you're already that far into the game? I don't know, uh, because space jump by itself is already pretty darn powerful, and if you have it and come back here, you have space jump. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with space jump. That said, isn't that cool? So uh, I'm going to try this straight up myself. I've already tried it for like 10-15 minutes. I couldn't get it, mostly because I'm terrible at the cross bomb. I just can't get the cross bomb correctly. Uh, but if you can somehow do this, I want more people to try this out and see maybe if someone gets this really well, can maybe figure out if this is either possible or not possible. They got DD Extreme. I want to go further than this. I want to try out more stuff than just this. But for now, I, I want the word DD Supreme to be successful.